Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, on this cold-ass Monday. Um, Chavo's decided that he said enough of this. Uh, but today is Columbus Day, or uh, should we call it Indigenous Persons Day? Uh, I lean towards Indigenous Persons Day. Why? Because uh, I've been wanting to do this for a little bit, but I read this book uh, not too long ago. It's called The uh, The Other Slavery, The Uncovered Story of American of Indian Enslavement in America by Andreas uh, Resandes. Hopefully I pronounced his name right. This isn't a paid endorsement. I just thought it was a really good book. But basically it brought up... Chavo, you're too damn cute. It brought up how Columbus... First off, I can't say discovered uh, the New World because there were millions of people. Uh, another good book you could read, and there's a DVD set called 500 Nations. There were 500 nations from the tip of Alaska to the tip of South America who were already living here. So you need to discover shit, my man. Uh, but what I will say is that uh, he introduced the old world to the new world. I'll give you that. But for all my uh, my paisans, for all my goombas who think Columbus is a big hero, he's not. You got to deal with the fact that um, he introduced the slave trade. He enslaved the natives of the Caribbean islands, the the Tainos, the Arawak, the uh, Caribbeans, all the groups that you find in the Carib- the Caribbean uh, wound up being subjected to slavery. Uh, the only island that didn't experience slavery in the Caribbean, I learned this, was Aruba. Uh, and I thought, wow, how cool, how hip, how progressive. The guy giving the tour said, no, you can't grow anything on this island. It's granite, it's coral, and we, ha- we export sunshine. That's all we have. Uh, but this book goes into very good detail about how Columbus's contract with uh, the Spanish Royal Court about how he would basically, you know, with some options in there, would receive a quarter of what the crown would make. And while the Caribbean islands were very beautiful, um, there wasn't really a lot there for Spain to export or exploit. You know, gold, silver, there was a little bit, but nothing to make it really worthwhile. Uh, So Columbus turned to the people of the islands. And the slavery in this instance was a little bit uh, in a kind of a, a legal quandary because Spain had laws that said if you were at war with the Spanish crown and you are non-Catholic, they can enslave you. Well, the natives, they weren't Christian, they weren't Spaniards, but they weren't at war with the crown. So it kind of occupied a little bit of a gray zone. Uh, so to call Columbus a hero, no. You have to take the good, the bad, the ugly. A- and recognizing the rich history, if you haven't watched it yet, I've seen pieces of it, i got to see the whole thing. But if you um, watch John Leguizamo's Latin History for Dummies, even if you watch the uh, the intros, the highlight reels, uh, it's absolutely fascinating. So um, I'm going to go take a nap with my kitty cat, and uh, everybody have a great day.